he who began a good work and you will complete, will complete it. Hebrews 10, 35 tells us this. Cast not away your confidence. For it has great recompense of reward. That after you have done the will of God, you have need of patience. But it tells you, don't cast away your confidence, your expectation, your hope, your attitude. These are all assets. And we don't want to be casual with them. Cast not away your confidence, for it has great recompense and reward. Psalm 138 tells us that the Lord will perfect that which concerns me. In other words, if it concerns you, he's saying he's going to bring it to maturation. The Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Psalm 138 tells us. So we're talking about attitude. We're talking about our default button being, how can my attitude be an asset? Let me give you a couple of statements on attitude. Your attitude can either be your best friend, thank you, you've been reading my notes, or your worst enemy. Your attitude, it can either be your best friend or your worst enemy. If it's your best friend, it's your constant companion cheering you on, reminding you of the finished work of the cross, reminding you of what Jesus Christ did for you, reminding you of the picture or the eternity that God planted on your heart, reminding you of your assignment, reminding you of the faithfulness of God in the past, reminding you of the situations that he got you out of that you had no right or reason to be out of. It can either be your best friend or your worst enemy. Likewise, your attitude can either be your biggest asset or your biggest liability. Do you realize nothing in the world can stop a person with the right attitude and nothing in the world can help a person with the wrong one? You have any people in your life have a wrong attitude? If you're sitting next to them, don't look at them now. A wrong attitude. You know who they are. I mean, the second their name comes up on caller ID. Oh, here comes Helen. What's it now? You know, no matter what you tell Helen, no offense if your name's Helen, you know no matter what you share with Helen, you know no matter what verse you give Helen, no matter what verse you give Reggie, no matter what you tell Reggie, when it's all said and done, they're going to be in the same position. You know why? Their attitude. 